G'day, welcome to the car. It has four wheels, four doors, drives itself. What we can do today is run through a few unusual autopilot situations. Now, on the latest update, autopilot can let you speed, which is kind of cool. Up to 10 k's an hour over the limit. But we're not going to do that, obviously, because that's illegal. But yeah, actually, you can be legally done to speeding. It's sort of, it's weird. Anyway, we start off now with some very unusual situations for autopilot. As you'll see in a second, we're going to... um. Try it on the Cambridge Avenue Causeway. If you're local to the Moorbank, Liverpool, sort of that part of the southwestern Sydney area, you know the Causeway. It's very narrow and it's about 3.2 millimetres above the waterline at George's River. Which means the slightest amount of rain means it will quite rapidly flood. So let's go check out, see how it works. Okay, autopilot on, you'll see it here whenever I turn it on and its speed limit sits here and everything else and all that. Most people should know that by now anyway. I've got it set to zero or plus, so it will set itself to 60. If I try to increase the speed limit by touching the wheel, you'll get that. Can't speed on a single lane road, or a undiv uh, what I call an undivided road anyway. But here we are, coming down to Cambridge Avenue Causeway, very narrow. Before the update, I was very hesitant across this, but we'll see how it goes. As you can see, autopilot's engaged. As you can see, it's a very narrow bridge. See what it does. Okay, so okay, maintaining speed, maintaining speed, triggering the distances. Pretty good. No change in speed. That's awesome. Normally it would go to near and just sort of um it would get very hesitant, slow down to like 40 k's an hour, then go across it. And if there's a car coming the other way, it would really freak you out and do a massive phantom brake, which is not a good thing. But yeah, they handled that well. So that's a fast improvement over the last update in that little area. Phantom braking, park car, come on, it's off the road. There you go. 50 k's an hour, done. So now what I should do is sort of explain what I reckon the difference is in roads on this. This is what I call a undivided road, two lanes, cars approaching each other, nothing in the middle except lines, and that's it. And these sort of roads, or urban roads I guess most people call them, autopilot will not let you go above the speed limit while it's in autopilot mode. Is it try that, you get your warning, you know, didn't okay. Can't exceed 60 k's an hour on these streets. Fair enough. In the new update, that can be changed. You can set that to 10k an hour plus, so you can allow you to do 70 k's an hour in a 60 zone. Which I'm not going to do, because that's illegal. Especially on video. Okay, slowing down for roundabout. Yes, I'm taking control. I've got you. That's all good. You're under control. No need to panic. It's all... Daddy's here. Like I said, we're trying out unusual situations. Which I drive every single day. Back on autopilot, limited 60 k's an hour. Next up, divided roads. Here we are, on divided road. Now on these sort of roads, which are like, you know, divided roads like this, the, car, the road's divided by trees, grass, kangaroos, rabbits, small children and foxes. Autopilot can be set at any speed above the posted speed limit. At the moment it's set to 70. I'll do a quick scroll wheel launch. Like that, it's you know, 85, 90 k's an hour, well above the posted speed limit. You've been able to do that before before the update. So that's nothing new. You've always been able to do that on um, motorways, divided roads, stuff like this. It hasn't changed. What has changed though is that when you're on a single lane road like I showed earlier, you can now set the autopilot offset to plus five, plus up to plus 10 k's an hour, which means you can now exceed the speed limit on, the, on those roads by up to 10 kilometers an hour. Here we go, red light. I let the car do its thing and stop. And to get to that, you simply bring up the autopilot menu, scroll right to the bottom, you have offset here. Relative mode, offset plus 10 is the max you can do. Plus five, and there's Tesla Tom and Adam from Tesla Trade have noticed, you can get backwards as well, I'm not gonna do that. I like to have it set at plus five. The downside to that is whenever you turn autopilot on, it will automatically set itself to 5Ks an hour above the limit. You've got to be aware of that. Especially in Victoria where the, you know, the speed cameras are quite strict. You don't want to get busted doing that. So yeah, this is one of those unusual situations. This road is obviously a divided road. Speed limit, as you will see, is signposted to 80 kilometers per hour. Right there. If it's just a divided road, I can set autopilot to 80Ks an hour. No problem. This road used to be single lane, undivided, and 60 kilometers an hour. So the castle thinks it's 70. Up here, it should change to 60 k's an hour. And if I'm unlucky enough this time, it will reduce the speed limit to 60 kilometers an hour. I'm just in the traffic control. 
Japanese. They're applying slight force, come on. Here we go, 60 k's an hour. The car still thinks it's on that single lane, 60 km hour road. I'm doing 20 over the limit. And up here, it usually drops it down and says maximum speed now restricted to whatever I've said it at, 60 k's an hour. Plus 5, probably 65 now. Normally does it around about here. Hmm, maybe not. Great. Make me a liar, why don't you? It gets very confused by these red lights on people stopping at green lights for that, for no particular reason. I have noticed if it's a red turn arrow above the intersection, it will get confused and ask numerous times for you to confirm it. If it's just green lights all across the board, it'll just ask for the once and off it goes. There's no problem. But like I said, it's a red turn arrow somewhere that will tend to be confused. So it's all green across the board now, green turn arrows. It's only asking me once. Maybe twice. No, it's going on range. Okay. I can accelerate a van easily, no problem. Or a land cruiser. Hmm, auto stopping. Cool. That's awesome. Anyway, the next bit, autopilot speeding, not speeding. Okay, here we are, back onto a single lane road, 70k an hour posted speed limit, autopilot will limit me to 70 km an hour. No problem, but coming up ahead is a series of corners signposted at 45 km an hour. So, we'll let the car do its thing, there's no traffic behind me, I actually made sure they went away, and we'll see what the car does. 45k an hour posted speed limit, car is slowing, it should slow to about 45 k's an hour. The wheel. Yeah, 45 k's an hour, a little bit less. It's all right. It's a bit very hesitant. That's kind of strange. But it's doing it just fine. Not a problem at all. See, look. Exit of the corner, though, at some reason takes a bit to slow up. Now, what I'm going to do here now is it'll slow again, but what I'll do is I'll touch accelerator halfway through the, the corner and it will accelerate around the corner. So I'm touching the throttle now, foot back off the throttle, and it's now picked, maintaining that speed. 50 k's an hour. That's a lot more comfortable for me, anyway, and the car's behind you. So the car can do the corners faster than it normally does, which is kind of weird. But it's sort of cool anyway. So if it slows down from mid-corner, which it does like that, just tap the throttle a little bit to where you'd be comfortable, let it go, and it would do its thing. Next corner again, 45k an hour. See what it does. Slowing. Fair enough. I know I can take this corner well faster than 45. It's at 50. I tap the throttle. Let it know that's the speed I want to do. Let it go again. It's maintaining 55k an hour corner and slowly accelerating. So, yeah, look at that. Nice. Doing it well. Pretty cool. Of course, single lane, I can't exceed 70k's an hour. That's what autopilot does. Then you update though, I can. I can adjust that. Go to autopilot. Adjust it to, say, plus 5. Bang. Now I can adjust it to 75, and the car would do 75 now. So you can speed on autopilot on single lane roads. Here on this corner, eh, it's not too bad. I'll wind it back to 70 because, you know, speeding. Here's an unusual one. Sometimes it struggles on this one. Sometimes it does it. I'm going to let it do its thing. It aims for those poles. It sees them and diverts and goes to the white line. And cool. Okay. A big improvement there. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Normally what it would do there was aim for those two white poles and then swerve quite violently towards the center of the road and see the white lines and swerve back. But also, it would nick the white lines or just hit them before swerving back. But that did that quite well, so I'm very impressed with that since the update. So it's not just the updates in the um, notes that happen too. It's also the, um, the background software gets updated and fixed. Either that or it's learning. It's probably learnt that road now because I drive it every day. Okay, now this road I know is an 80 zone because the signs down the road there say 80 kilometers an hour. And in the maps, this road is reported as 60 kilometers an hour. So the car thinks it's 60 k's an hour. It's actually an 80 zone. So unfortunately, under the old autopilot system, your speed is now limited to 60 k's an hour. Obviously, you can go into your autopilot settings, offset that by 10 k an hour, crank the wheel up a bit to 70 k an hour. That's as fast as you can do. You can only, you can only speed 10 k an hour over the limit of autopilot. Even on this road, it says I'm speeding, but I'm not. It's actually 80k an hour zone road. So before you complain in the comments or report me to the police or anything, this road is an 80k an hour zone. Okay? Thanks. Okay, now this bit of road is interesting. Elizabeth Drive, 80 kilometers an hour. Set autopilot, or 80 kilometers an hour, not a problem. But it goes into a 60 kilometer an hour zone and the car will automatically adjust its speed down to 60k an hour. You watch. Set to 80, 80, 
roads 80 km an hour zone, not a problem at all. Car's doing fine, 60 k's an hour. Change to 60, instantly reduce the speed to 60 k's an hour. It phantom brakes for a Commodore, thanks buddy. But um, yeah, back to 60 k's an hour, no problem. I hate this section, I had so many trucks, it's crazy. Okay, now what it normally does here, even though it's a 60 zone, we cross back into the 80 zone, the car will automatically speed back up to 80 kilometers an hour. For some reason, this is the only spot I've ever seen it do that. I don't know why it does it here, it just does. So does anybody know why it does that? Let me know. This is why I've got PPF on the car. When I'm driving to and from work every day, surrounded by trucks most of the time. Here we go, 80 zone. Come on, 80, see, automatically changes. I didn't touch a thing. 80 kilometers an hour, not a problem, which is good. Why does it do that? Just there, only there. Next, Memory Road. I know, so many opportunities for jokes with the name of this, of this road. But it is a single lane, undivided road, 80k an hour speed limit, typical of most, um, I suppose, rural roads these days, up to 100, 110k's an hour out west. But there's just one more little strange section up, up ahead, which I'll show you before we call it a quit to this video. Tell you what though, that's Phantom Lane 4 podcast is awesome. Good Aussie content, recommended, highly recommended. Here's a section coming up, so I've got to hit the throttle now to tell it it's green light. This is one of the ones where it knows it's a green light, but it has a red line drawn across the bottom when there's a red turn arrow. I think it'll do it here again. you probably notice it shortly. See, so confirm it's green, confirm it's green again, and again. See, here we go, red line across there, yeah, it's green obviously, but the red turn arrow. I think the red turn arrow on the centre of the road or on the passenger side of the road confuses autopilot in Australia. You just saw a red line, it's green light obviously, but it's sort of red line. Now, this is where things get weird. This is one of those unusual spots. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But up here past this set of lights, the, the sort of this lane becomes that lane while everybody turns off and the car sometimes thinks the lane, I don't know, it's weird. Have a look, you'll see it in a second. I, I don't understand. I understand it, but it's hard to explain while driving across it. Green line, green line, all good. Now this guy might turn right here and the car might follow him, even though the lane goes straight ahead. So he's turning right, let's see what the car does. Let's see, it's, it's yeah, it sorted out in the end, it got there. What it usually does was dart into that lane, which is obviously the turn lanes. I don't want to go there, I want to go straight ahead. But then, it, yeah, it was undecided. You can see for a bit there was like trying to figure out where the lane went. I'm hoping it's learning, it's getting better, but if there's heavy traffic and the car's close, it will follow the car into that right lane, which is really annoying. But if it's a car in front of me going straight ahead, the car will follow the car straight ahead and it's fine. So that situation, it sort of picked the middle ground and went, um, uh, didn't, didn't quite know where it was going. So that's it, memory road. Next, M4. This elevator music is just brilliant. It's almost like you're in a real elevator. And one of my cameras just died. Which one is that? The 360 just overheated again. I mean, you can always trust the 360 to overheat, can't you? Man, that thing's roasting. Mobile speed camera, hi. Well, I guess with the death of the, uh, the 360 camera now, I can't show the M4 exiting on autopilot, navigating autopilot. So, with that successful failure, I will have to leave this video here. See if you got this far. Hi, Mum and Dad, the one or two people that watch this far. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Wear a mask in public if you have to, and be safe. And thanks for watching. Bye. Play the right podcast this time, damn it. There's not a pilot. It has a mind of its own. It can drive a car. I'll move t shirt. <laughs>